Hey guys, it is Arika Misha, and today, as you guys can see, I'm in the kitchen doing what I do. And today, as you guys can see, I have here some turkey drumsticks. So on today's menu, we have the large turkey drumsticks. I've got my favorite, my hot, my yellow rice over there. Um, as you guys can see, I've got some, let me show you guys, some nibbles. Um, these are like the small uh, red potatoes. So you guys will see, I'll be using those. Uh, Ruby Sensation. All right, and I have here Family Farms peppers, sliced bell peppers and onions. Uh, you can microwave this, but you guys will see what I'm gonna how I'm gonna be using it today. Give you guys a close up on that little pepper pepper tray. Um, I've got my collagen in chicken broth. All right. And my Mahatma yellow rice. Y'all have seen this a million times. A million times. And as you guys can see, I've got our turkey drumsticks all freshly cleaned up. Let me see. Make sure you guys get a good picture of that. Freshly cleaned up here. Well, my lighting isn't that good. But anyway, y'all. Our turkey drumsticks. Give y'all a close up. All right. So let's go ahead and get into it. I'm gonna take you guys over here to the stove. I've got my oven preheated at 350 degrees. Um, and most likely I'll be cooking these, I'm just saying in case I forget, cause I know sometimes I do forget. Um, 350 degrees, I'm gonna be cooking them for these turkey drumsticks. I'm gonna put them in for an hour. That should be good enough. I mean, these are some thick drumsticks, but an hour should be good, so. Let me move you guys over here so you can see how I'm going to be doing it. All right, I'll put you guys there. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do, let me get my potatoes washed. I forgot to get my potatoes washed. Hold on, guys. Let me get these potatoes washed real quick. I do have my bowl over here. I wanted to show you guys the potatoes before I open them. So you guys can see what brand it was that I chose. Get them down in the bowl and wash them real good, real quick. Washing our potatoes. All right. Get those washed up. And just show you guys the cute little red potatoes red potatoes all right so let me get these peppers open i tell you get these peppers open and then i'll show you guys how i'm going to get this tray up and in the oven all right Got all that open. Let me get my aluminum foil before I forget. Okay. All right. So let me get my canola oil. I do want to. You know what? I'm not gonna do that. Nah, I'm not gonna do that. I was gonna spray my pans with canola oil, but anyway, I'm not. Okay. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put my chicken broth in first. The bottom of my pan. I'm gonna use both of these pans because the drumsticks are too big to go all in one. So, I'm gonna put half in one and the other half in the other. Should be enough. That's just how I'm measuring it. You know, put as much chicken broth as you want. Um, that's just how I'm doing it, using two different trays. All right, let me get these 
even okay all right everything's flat and even okay so let's go ahead i'm gonna get my turkey drumsticks in here got one there looks delicious all right so we'll get this second one in here get this second one all panned up and I season my drumsticks up. All right. So you guys see, I wanna make sure you guys can see. Yeah, you're gonna have to go like that. Let me see if I move you guys over here. Nah, I'm gonna have to move y'all over here so I can be in front of them. You guys can see. All right, so. All right, so we got that. Let's get our potatoes in here. Got our potatoes. So we want to put our potatoes down in that broth, you know? So they can be cooking in the broth. Yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Mm-hmm. Looking delicious. looks good let's put another one over here another one over there okay it looks good as you guys can see you know let me zoom you guys in in more I'm gonna zoom you in more so you can see I'll zoom you into this pan because you know what no let me widen it so you guys can see both pans let me slide this one over okay all right that works Okay, that's better. I'll zoom y'all in a little bit. Okay, perfect. All right, so for our peppers, we're gonna sprinkle our peppers in. Just sprinkle this all around. Our onions and our peppers. Put that on top of our turkey. Our turkey drums. Put that across the top because we want to make sure they're getting all that goodness. I'll put this down in the war in the uh, broth. Yes, we want it across our meat. Looks delicious. I'm telling you, this little pepper mix with the onions is perfect. This is exactly what I was looking for. Exactly what I was looking for in the store. Okay, let's get some peppers over here. And it's a nice amount in here too, guys. Nice amount. And of course, you can use these for anything. You can use them for anything. All right, let me get all my mix. All my mix, all my onions, all my peppers. Okay. We got all of that in there. Doesn't that look delicious? Doesn't that look delicious, guys? Look at that. Oh, doesn't that look so good? All right, so all right, let me move you guys over here. But doesn't that look delicious? Sorry, I'm moving y'all all over the place, but I just want to make sure y'all seeing this. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take some body up. With complete seasoning. Stop body with complete seasoning. I'm just gonna just sprinkle it over the top like that. Just do a nice layer over the top like that. Looks delicious. And our potatoes are gonna get cooked in that juice. Let me zoom you guys in so you can see it. And those potatoes are gonna get all nice and cooked. Um, that broth is going to start to boil and it's going to cook those potatoes up all nice and get our turkey drumsticks all nice and juicy and soft. Oh, I cannot wait. And I'm going to cook my Mahatma Yala rice. You guys have seen me cook that a million times. So I just want to focus on the um, turkey drumsticks. The Mahatma Yala rice, boil your water, 
uh, throw the rice in there, cover it for 20 minutes, easy. You guys have seen me cook that a million times. So I'll go ahead and cook that. Um, but I just wanna, like I said, put the focus on the turkey drumsticks. Look at that goodness. Looks so good. So good guys. And you know what, this is something nice, quick and easy you can do. I'm gonna put the aluminum foil over. I'm gonna put them in my oven for like an hour, maybe an hour and a half. I'll see, it might be an hour and a half with these drumstick guys. But anyway, for right now, we'll say an hour. Um, and of course, I'll put on the screen how long it actually took to cook them. But anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and get these in, cover them with aluminum foil, get them in the oven, guys. This is something nice, quick, and easy you can do. And think about it, these turkey drumsticks nicely roasted brown over the yellow rice. It's gonna be beautiful, it's gonna be my thumbnail, I'm sure. So this is something quick and easy you can do, throw in the oven, and you can move around and do other things you need to do around the house. Quick and easy. But it tastes like you took all day to, to make it. All right, guys, let me go ahead and get these in the oven. I'll be back, guys, I guess. You know what? We'll be back for the grand finale. All right, guys. Okay, guys, we are back for the grand finale. Let me take y'all in real quick, give y'all a shot of the turkey drumsticks. They actually took an hour and a half, guys. Hour and a half, so in case I, well, no, I shouldn't forget to tell y'all. Hour and a half, guys, for the turkey drumsticks. An hour and a half. They look delish. Taking y'all in for a nice, oh, look at those onions and peppers. And I had to keep juicing them up, you know, taking that uh, broth from the bottom and pouring it over the top so they can stay nice and juicy, guys. I'm so excited. I know they're going to be good. I know it. I know they're going to be so good. Oh, I can leave y'all right there. I can leave y'all right there. That might be my thumbnail. But anyway. All right, I'm not going to leave without showing y'all the yellow rice. Y'all know I've cooked that my hot my yellow rice a million times. A million times on my channel, but I'm still going to show y'all the Mahatma yellow rice. Taking y'all in. When I tell you this rice is so flavorful, all I do is add a little salt. Sometimes I don't, you know, add the salt. Sometimes I don't, but, um, and that's only because I be forgetting. But I like to sprinkle a little salt in there. But that season that comes on that, that comes with that yellow rice inside the packet, it is so good. That's why it's my favorite yellow rice. So, all right, y'all. That's it. That's all. Y'all see me do it. So, you know, I did it. This is Arika Misha. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye.